Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. Trust you're having a good morning so far. It is hump day, Wednesday, August 14th, 9.29 a.m. We are one minute away from the New York Open. We had CPI this morning and we had quite a flurry. You see that there on the one minute charts? We actually drove down first, I believe, then back up and then we did all this grinding stuff in between. And uh, you can see that we've kind of settled down a little bit here just above VWAP on the NASDAQ and uh, S&P and below VWAP marginally on the Dow. I'll be watching the open here, guys, in the next few seconds, about 50 seconds away from the open. But let's start with the daily frame, shall we? As always, or as usual, I like to take a look at, um, I certainly, in my own trading, I always look at the daily first and move down to that kind of four hour, maybe the two hour, then to the 30 minute and my trading grid that I'll get to here in a moment. But this is the daily. We've had the 17% pullback here in that rampaging bull market that bottomed right here, August 5th. Today, of course, is August 14th. We've been more or less rallying ever since. Last Thursday was a very big bullish day, kind of grinding higher ever since. Yesterday was a fairly big, slow grinding rally up, but it worked and it's pretty strong there, as you can see. Now, of course, today we have broken into new highs again, not all time, but um, from yesterday on the NASDAQ, S&P and the Dow. Dow's pulled back now. I have a slightly bearish body there in the Dow. As most of you know, I ignore the Dow for the most part in this part of the cycle, really focusing on synchronicity, relative strength, divergence, and so on and so forth here between the NASDAQ and the S&P. Let me take you back to the three sisters, one minute charts, as you can see here. And uh, we are kind of grinding it out a little bit here above VWAP. The market is open. This is the first one minute candle. I'll be waiting for this uh, one minute candle to complete and then we will have the one minute open range that will extend out to the right for the entire session. I'll bring you back here in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. And now we're into the second minute, pushing up here on all three sisters. Let's go over to my trading grid again. Very or significantly bullish daily chart here, guys. So that's kind of my big picture frame coming in here. And now we are also pushing up into a clean traffic range on the 30 minute, a very large clean traffic range for that matter. We're talking about 500 points, 460 to be precise. Pulling back now to the top of the open range. I'm not going to do, this is a 30 second chart by the way, but I'm not gonna be doing anything uh, right off the bat here. I'm gonna watch this thing play out a little bit at the very least. Back into the open range on the NASDAQ. Huh, that's not the open range. Bear with me for one moment here, guys. There's the one minute open range, all right. I'm going to leave on the one minute chart here, guys, just so we can see the proper open range. And I'll take a look at these settings here in a bit. And dropping down below now, trying to at least on all three pulling back. This is getting very interesting. Again, I'm going to be very patient here, although the temptation is to just jump on something no matter what. We're not going to do that here today, guys, or any day for that matter. Do I sometimes? Occasionally I do. It usually, or it often ends up costing me. And so I've become very patient on this tug of war initially here. Get a break above, maybe you get a break below, maybe you get another break above and then wait for structure to, to uh, play out. Unless we start getting some significant volume and shifting going on, then that can be indicative of something much, much bigger. I'm just gonna expand this here, guys. Hmm. Mixed messages here, of course, today, guys. We have a bullish daily, although pulling back into yesterday's range. We have a uh, kind of a neutral 30 minute here, but I like this rejection wick. This is looking interesting on the uh, 30 minute here, but I'm not going to do it. As a matter of fact, guys, I'm going to put you on pause and bring you back after a bit here. Let this play out without doing anything here. Nothing to do. All right, guys, watching. Sell stop order, guys, below this wick right here. Stop above the high of the day, I think. I'm not quite certain on this one, guys. I don't have a whole lot of confidence on my stop placement here. Nope, I'm bringing it down, guys, watching what's happening above this 
candle right here dead center or just above center of the open range sell stop order I am watching the three sisters as always on a separate screen and that's factoring in large here to my decision and to be as aggressive as I am if we get that entry so obviously this is a bullish or was a bullish candle here on the daily guys bullish cascade meaning breaking the prior days high and a higher high significantly higher high of course than yesterday which was a very big day but now after that cpi which was a positive print you would think the market would just love that and go to town the fact that it's not pulling back into yesterday's range here on the market open and flipping the 30 minute candle inside of this range from the uk and the asian session and putting in that rejection wick which is part of what I just discussed, and now trading below the open range and below the nine, below the 21, with a negative moving average configuration, all says if price breaks here, there's a higher chance, as far as I'm concerned, that price will go here before it goes there. And that's all that trading is. If we don't break here, I'm not interested. Here we go. And I'm in, guys, and I'm in. Short the NASDAQ daily flipping bearish now as anticipated 30 minute candle driving down through the range that was straddled by the cpi print stop to break even now guys very aggressive stop management and there it is guys thanks for being here nice easy trade fairly straightforward a little impulse a little corrective rounding and then taking the move down Again, extended move here in the, on the daily inside of a sequential wave downtrend, by the way. You can see that we were tagging the 21 here and then rounding over, failing to go higher and follow through, even with that bullish CPI print this morning. So impulse corrective, impulse corrective, impulse corrective, impulse corrective, extending, 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 then having this flip action that we talked about, and then everything else, that whole stack of UOCs, units of conviction, into the market open play. Have a great one, guys. We'll talk to you soon.